Dynamics GP is a special sales order type that allows you to set up a pick, pack, and ship operation within your organization. Let's take a look at how that would work. What I've done is I set up an order, and I'm going to walk that through the pick, pack, and ship process. So let's take a look at that. To do that, I'm going to go into the area sales area page here, and then specifically go into the transactions list. Here's a list of all the sales transactions within GP. It's looking at orders, quotes, invoices, returns. And it's all presenting them here. I can access any of them or all of them from this window. But what I've done is I set up a special type that looks just at the pick, pack, ship orders. And what this does is in GP, you can set up six stages that an order can go through. And in my system, I've got six set up to print the picking ticket, confirm the pick, print the packing slip, confirm the pack, confirm the ship, and then print the invoice. Now we'll see how that works as we walk through this process. Let's take a look at the order as I entered it in the sales transaction entry. Here's my order right here. You'll notice that the lower right hand side is my first stage of my process. I'm ready to print the picking ticket. So I'm going to do that, but I'm going to do that from the list here. These are all the fulfillment orders. You can see them here, but I'm going to just select one here. And I can select multiple ones if I wanted to. But I'm just going to select one here, and then I'm going to print the picking ticket. This is a normal process within GP, but I'm printing it from the list. And you'll see here's the standard printing picking ticket, excuse me. So that's fine. I'm going to refresh the list. And we see that one picking ticket was completed. Now the next step is to confirm that the pack was pick was actually done. So I'm going to hit the confirm pick here. And it's going to show me that there's no exceptions. Now let's go back and look at that order. And we can see that the status has changed. If we want to, we can look at the document status here. And we can see what's happened so far on this particular order. Let's go back to the list. The next thing I would want to do in my procedure is to print the packing slip. So I'm going to select that, print the packing slip. Here's the packing slip here. There are no exceptions. I'm going to refresh that list. Now, the next thing I would do is to confirm the pack to make sure that the warehouse packed everything into the box that it was supposed to pack. So I'm going to select this order again and confirm pack that that, in fact, did take place. So I'm going to do that. That's been done. The next step then would be to confirm that the shipment has actually been made out to the client. The pa package has left the dock is on its way to the customer. So let's select this again and hit confirm ship. So what will happen then is that this order then turns into an invoice and we can take a look at that invoice in sales transaction entry. So let's go up there to transaction sales transaction entry and we can look up that invoice. Here's the invoice right here. It references the the order document. So here's the invoice. It's sitting in a batch. It's ready to post. I could print the invoices from here or post it, and it'll be update inventory, update receivables, and the general ledger. So that's the standard advanced distribution pick, pack, and ship process. You can modify that a little bit if you want to, but it basically goes through those same steps, and you can change the status to represent how your organization sees those various steps. And we can go take one last look at the document status here and see that all these processes were completed and who completed them and at what time. This simple process allows you to take more control over your pick, pack, and ship within Dynamics GP.